if you want to achieve a look just like this just keep on watching hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl janelle lauren here back again with another banger video you even know the vibes let me stop <laughs> But today, as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I'm highly requested. The girls want the details on how I get the beat. Even though the beat ain't really like a beat, you feel me? It's just like a little one-two that I really be doing. But recently, a bunch of my friends have been complimenting me on my makeup. And they want to know the tips, the tricks, and how your girl began it the way that she began it. So... I'm about to show you guys today. I'm a little nervous because the last time I did my makeup, it was not what it was supposed to give. It didn't give that. I was just like, what the heck? I was a little bit taken back. Let's hop right into the video. So the first thing that I like to do with any makeup look is have clean skin. I did a face mask yesterday and then today I've already washed my face with my cleanser from the Lori Harvey skin line. It's like a goja berry cleanser. So my face is all clean once that is all done and your face is all clean you need to start off with your base your base is so important i know all the girls on tiktok be saying your base your base your base you're probably confused like what is a base so basically it's like the foundation of your makeup the first layer kind of so for my base i use like a mix of things all these items are definitely optional but i'm just saying what i use to get my makeup look and what i do if you do something different, that's fine. But yeah, first step is I use sunscreen. As a black woman, we need to have on sunscreen like all the time. I'm gonna put too much, so we're just gonna use it for all of my face. Throughout this video, I'm going to be telling you guys like little facts about myself, introducing myself, because it's been a while. I didn't want to do like a full get to know me video just sitting there. So I wanted to do something with you know while I was doing something I'm actually getting ready to go to a party which I'm excited about today's July the 2nd so it's kind of like a 4th of July party kind of sort of even though we're not really jacking the 4th but it kind of is the sunscreen that I use is called black girl sunscreen I got it at Target highly recommend I do not have no type of cast whiteness on my face the next step that I use for my makeup is going to be a primer I never used to use primer until I found the importance of primer. You need to use primer for your makeup because it helps your makeup stick the whole night. So if you're out in the heat, you want to use some primer because it's going to help it stick. Like all the other girls, I have the e.l.f. primer. This is what it looks like. This primer is really good because it's sticky, so it helps the makeup stick to it. And I also use, sorry, my makeup bag is a mess because I've been traveling recently. So this is like my travel makeup bag. It's not my official makeup bag that I usually use. Also use the baby skin one because I like how it makes my skin feel. I like the moisture that it brings. So I'm just going to put these on just like that. You can barely even see that one. And I'm really low on this one as well. I think today I'm going to put on a little bit of foundation. I usually don't, but since last time i was a little bit scared of my makeup uh, it's giving foundation day so here's the elf one watch that okay and also i'm not a makeup artist i'm just a girl who learned how to do makeup so i'm just teaching you guys what i do now i'm pretty sure like a regular makeup artist has different tips and tricks and it will look 10 times better because there is stuff that i can't do like eyeshadow i can't do i can do a wing liner but it looks stupid if you don't have on eyeshadow so i never do it with the elf and the baby skins it's like a perfect mix of sticky but moisture i feel like the elf itself leaves your skin like sticky and tacky and just dry but that baby skin girl it it gives you baby skin literally and we're just gonna let that sit for a little bit because you do want your primer to sit in. And I also have these little elf primers. This one is for mattifying your skin. A matte look is something that looks kind of, I don't want to say dry, but dewy. When you think of a dewy look, dewy is something that looks wet. And matte is something that all looks like one. This is the luminous one. And this is the poreless one. So today, I'm just going to mix all three like I usually do. I don't know why I mix them, but I do. So... Yeah, watch me do that. Okay, 
Start off with the facts about myself. I guess this is the first fact that I'll say just because I'm already doing it. When I'm doing my makeup, I have to clean up as I go. So I'm already putting away the primers. Let's start off with the basic facts though. So my name is Janelle, of course, as I've already said. If you're here by now, you possibly know my name. If you don't, hi, my name is Janelle. I am 21. Oh, scratch that. I'm actually 22. I just tell people that I'm 21 because being 21 was so much fun being 22 is just boring life is not boring at all but being 22 is just like a boring age like i don't like to tell people that i'm 22 also my 21st birthday was chaotic i had a friend at the time loki tried to like sabotage my birthday I told myself i deserve to have another year of being 21 so i just tell people that i'm 21 so the next step of the makeup routine that i like to do emphasis on i like to do is i like to do my brows um, I'm not going to do a lot of brow activity today because I'm getting my brows laminated tomorrow. You need to kind of clean them up a little bit. Here is the NYX brow glue that I always use in all my videos. And I also used to use the Thick It's Thicker by NYX. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that today, but I'm definitely going to be using this. A year ago, I graduated from Penn State with a Bachelor's of Science in Biology. I'm going to be a doctor. Typically, I would have freshly cleaned up brows, so I'm going to work with my brows as much as I can today. And the first part is definitely um, sticking them down. So this is just to stick them so that they don't go out of place. With this product, you want to get the product on your spoolie and you really want to press it in kind of because that's how you get them to lay down the way that you want them to. If you guys can see the difference between this brow that has the product and this brow that does not have any product. I'm the youngest of four. I have a brother and two sisters. Even though I was kind of raised like an only child, I am a girl's girl. And I think it's because I have sisters. One of my long-term goals is to move to Europe. I want to be like a sports doctor in Europe. And I don't really share that with people because I had told some guy this like when I was in college and he went to my college and he was like, oh, that's the problem with black people. Black people want to move to Europe instead of Africa. He made a valid point. However, this one specific person who said this he only dates women that are not black so i decided not to take his advice and just ignore him also he was dating an atheist so that just says enough about him and his character and what he goes for now, i studied abroad in italy my freshman year of college i entered college in 2018 so when i studied abroad that was in 2019 it was the springtime right now i'm going to be using the fenty concealer in the shade 340 just to cover up some of these marks on my face this was a pimple and i popped it and now like left the mark there when i was younger i was obsessed with dora hannah montana and hello kitty and i feel like those are all valid stages in a young baddie's life i feel like if your girlfriend or your close friend or your best friend didn't have at least one of those stages she's probably not a baddie now and since i had all three i consider myself to be a mega baddie and since this is just spot correction i'm just gonna go in automatically and blend it out this is a damp beauty blender i have this trick from aliyah j all new york girlies who've been doing a whole youtube thing watching youtube used to watch Aaliyah J. Like, I feel like she started the way for a lot of New York girls. You see how, like, that kind of didn't really do anything? But it's okay because we're going to fix it. I promise you. Perfect. This step is obviously optional if you don't have any scars on your face. No need to do that. Next step, since my primer is, like, good enough right now, I'm going to be taking my foundation. I very rarely wear foundation, but today is one of those days where I will be wearing foundation because... I want to look like a baddie and I'm scared from the last time I did my makeup. This is the Makeup by Mario foundation. You've probably seen it all over TikTok. Um, if you don't have it, go get it. I'm going to let it speak for itself. When I tell you Mario did his thing, <clears throat> let's just say since I got this, three of my friends have bought it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just put it on. I don't really like to put foundation on my forehead. I'm just going to put one dot. We're going to do what we can with this i might need to put like a little bit more 
Uh, okay, I might have one too much now. For this, I'm gonna be using a beauty blender because this feels like it needs to be beauty blended and not a brush. So we're just gonna start off with the chin. For this, I like to dab. So you see how we're just spreading the product like this instead of swiping. Swiping is not gonna do the job here, ladies. Tap it into your skin. If it looks like little dots, it's fine. Keep tapping. One thing with makeup, you gotta keep blending. Like, if you feel like you blended enough, keep blending some more. I promise you, you didn't. And make sure like all your bases are covered. Your whole face. Don't just put concealer on like half your face and then like forget your nose. And I love Daryl. Stick put it on a bitch picture. What the fuck? The reason why I really love this foundation, if you cannot see. It literally looks like my skin. Just look at it. Like, Mario, you did that. And we're just going to put a little bit more on because I don't have any on my nose. And we want to make sure that at least under your eye is good enough. So the reason why I put on foundation today, but I usually don't, is because I'm not sure if I got a tan or what. Like a baby tan. But girl, my concealer is not matching how it usually matches. We're putting foundation on to get that first layer base going. And the reason why I like this Mario foundation, as I was just saying, it looks like skin and it feels like skin. It's so light. So I know that today at this party, it's going to be hot. It's going to be sweating. But I'm not going to feel like my face is melting. Okay, back to the facts about me. If I wasn't going to be a doctor, I'm really into fashion. So I would have been either like a fashion curator or I always say this and this always makes sense people. I would have been a jeweler. I think being a jeweler is so cool. Creating jewelry for rappers, celebrities. The crazy part is I don't know any jewelers. So I would have started my own business probably. I've never been into entrepreneurship. I think that's just not for me. I definitely do think that's a problem with people nowadays. They feel like everyone should be an entrepreneur. Girl, go to school and get a 9 to 5. We need more doctors. We need more lawyers. We need accountants. And the list goes on. Something else that I've learned with makeup is you need to let your makeup oxidize. Because what it looks like when you first put it on versus when it oxidizes is something completely different. It may be a jump scare when you first put it on. But once that makeup oxidizes, girl, you will be good to go. People usually say drag your makeup down to your chin. I will do a little bit of that. Like that's not really one of my die-hard needs. Like, since it's plain, when I was in high school, I was a big Cardi fan. I was a big little Yachty fan. I was a big little Uzi fan. Famous Dykes, J. Critch. Like I'm. I'm that generation of New York, okay? Yeah. There we go. I have to just turn up my vanity light somewhere. I didn't know it was like on the lowest setting. But this is just foundation on. It really looks like my skin. We're good. So the next step that we're going to do is concealer. We're going to take this concealer and line our brows. People usually tell you, use a brush for this. When it comes to brows, I'm sorry. I just can't use the brush. I'm going to use the applicator every single time. The parts that we are concealing, you want to just carve out your brow. I'm going to show you what I mean, so I'm going to do one brow and then I'll show you the other one. So this is what I mean by just carving out your brow with concealer. This is the same concealer, NT in 340, and then I just go back out. Don't be shy with concealer. Like when it comes to brows and you want to carve something out, you need concealer, boo. Like don't be light with it. Really put that concealer on there, you feel me? This is another fun fact for myself. I have a tendency of just speaking in a British accent sometimes. And I don't know why I do it. It just it it just happens, okay? I'm also Sagittarius. I exert big Sag energy all the time. I'm good with being by myself. I don't need to be around a whole group of girls. Like I will rock alone. I know what I want, when I want it, how I want it. You cannot tell me otherwise. Don't try to convince me that I don't want something. I know exactly what I want. I'm very hardworking. I'm going to get something. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. Everything I say that I'm going to do, I do. Simple as that. Check my life history, okay, baby? Like, very short tolerance of bullshit. My attitude will change. If I have an attitude, expect everybody's day to be around. Because that's just how I'm feeling, okay? So this is what it looks like right now. But you see here at the tail of the brow, it needs like a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do. Perfect. Perfect. We are now going to do the other side. 
Perfect, so this is what it looks like. I'm also left-handed, so doing things that like on the other side is very hard for me sometimes. I feel like I want to do the top of my brows as well because I have a little pimple trying to form above my brow. So we're going to do the top as well. I like doing the top of my brows because my hairs in the front get real crazy because I don't touch them up unless I'm going to get my brows done. So this helps me really like get them together. You feel me? See that? You carved out your brow. This is my good brow. This is my mid brow. I know your brows are like supposed to be cousins and not sisters, but I always tell my brow lady, make them look like twins. This is the Morphe M432 brush. It's a flattish brush. We just take this and you kind of want to drag it down as much as you possibly can. Sorry, I forgot a very important step just now. I swear this is like one of my holy grails in my makeup routine. I spray my brushes with a setting spray. You can't tell me otherwise. And that setting spray that I just sprayed is the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. It's running low, but don't worry, I got it back up. So you want to drag it down. Being that I'm the youngest of four, I feel like I love having sisters. Because having sisters has taught me so much stuff that I realized that girls who don't have sisters never learned. Such as like doing my hair, kind of doing my makeup, being a girl, a girl's girl. Like there's certain girl code things that you just don't do. And I feel like you learn that when you have sisters. When you don't have sisters, you don't learn that. And my supporting evidence for this is that the girls that I've met in college who did not have sisters or were just only child were weirdos. Please, since my mother had three girls i'm not one of those weird girls so yeah shout outs to you mom for giving me two sisters and shout outs to my sisters perfect so this is what it looks like when you drag it down it's still not blended out all the way so now i'm going to take this real techniques brush it is erase what it was like it's not on the brush anymore but this is a real techniques brush this is what it looks like Stop the video right now and screenshot it if you want this brush. It, I clean all my brushes, but this brush was like not trying to clean all the way. I call it like a buffing brush because I swear that's what it is. But I use it to blend. Just gonna blend now with the brush. With this, I kind of do dabbing like this. Circles like this. And I also drag a little bit as well. And don't forget to drag across your nose. Kind of connect them. So that it doesn't look so harsh and like it looks blended. Now, since I've blended it out with the brush, I'm now gonna be taking this beauty blender, the same one that I used for my foundation, and I'm gonna blend it with the beauty blender. Like I said, makeup is a lot of blending, so get used to blending a lot. <laughs> so now it's kind of fully all the way blended out i'm not gonna take this puff that i have and it has like my setting stuff on it and i'm just gonna set this because i don't want it to move out of place anytime you put on concealer you want to set it i'm gonna use my thickest stick it now in the front of this brow Give me one second, I just made like a little small mistake. Perfect. Fix that. I just want to touch it up just a little bit like this brow. I told you, this is my trouble brow. Like, ugh. The gold poof. This is so old. Like, I very rarely use it. But today I need to. Just go over the front a little bit. That's how the brows are looking. Not my best brows, but it'll do. Here's the fun part. I love this part. Only if I could find the stuff that I need. I need to could just get a playlist going. It's like random songs playing right now, and it's not doing it for me. So we're putting on the old school playlist. So we're taking the Fenty Concealer. Once again, this is my girl. And now we're going to do everything else, conceal everything else. The way that I do my concealer underneath my eye, I like this trick on TikTok. Wherever your eye naturally creases, you want to put your concealer underneath that. So my eye over here naturally creases right here, and over here it naturally creases right here. So I'm going to put it underneath that. I put 
this fancy one in the middle because it matches my skin the best another fun fact last year i was able to take my mom to go see chris brown um when i was younger my mom always talked about how she wanted to go see chris brown in concert so i was fortunate enough to be able to take her and we think about that experience all the time so now i'm like a real concert girly i'm actually going to see drake in a couple weeks with my two sisters i'm really excited i'm so excited to see drake i don't think you guys understand we're gonna do my nose look my smells my smell it's not the same in my bed i'll be right back i need to find my specific concealer if i don't find it i'm gonna have a fit i was not able to find the la girl concealer that i really like to use so i will be having to rebuy that crazy part is i was just trying to rebuy it this week and i didn't have it because i went to ulta yesterday i'm using the summer friday lip balm so we're just gonna use the other la girl concealer that i have which i'm like uh, about because we're gonna figure it out so here's la girl in natural i put this inner corners and outwards and please put enough i like a bright under eye i know the bright under eye is not for everybody it's for janelle another fact about me i'm not calling these fun facts these are just random facts about me that i don't mind sharing when i put it on the outer corners drag it out so that it's kind of like flat it'll help with blending I promise that also this natural is like running low Please, I just need enough to do this look. I'm going to Miami on Friday, so I definitely will be rebuying my concealer. I had such a big crush on this boy one time. I literally forced myself to like NBA Young Boy. I don't like the boy anymore, and I don't like NBA Young Boy. Okay, this is all that I can get out of this little tube. I really wonder where my concealer is, but what can I do? You let this sit and you want to let this dry. The reason why you want to let it dry is because concealer is better when it is dry. I'm telling you. Here's where the tips get a little bit. Oh, Janelle, you do that? Janelle does that. I have my three handy dandy blushes. We have Rare Beauty, Rare Beauty, Juvia's Place. This is Pink Lady by Juvia's Place. This is Happy by Rare Beauty. And then this is Joy by Rare Beauty. I'm feeling like a pink girl today. So now I'm between the two. I'm gonna use this because since it's the 4th of July, I feel like let's lose black on. Yeah. Mm hmm. Makeup is really therapy, okay? I'll tell you this blush is pigmented. <laughs> I put one dot right in the middle of the Fenty this is a new tip and trick that I have learned when you blend this out it looks so good I'm just gonna touch up this end of this concealer I really wonder where that concealer is because I also use it for my lip combo and knowing me it's probably in the car I'm gonna let this dry and then once it's all dry we'll come back and blend it up see you guys shortly i am back and the concealer is looking somewhat dry now i'm going to take a setting spray i'm gonna take this one close my eyes and i'm gonna wet my whole face with this setting spray Whew. okay you want your face wet like wet you see this what to take a brush this is another real techniques brush it says it's a setting brush and i'm just going to dab this out i like to blend my concealer with a brush i don't know why thinks it looks better and i'm just going to go ahead and blend those out right now before i blend out my under eye let's take this and just gently When it gets to the corner of your eye, bring it up as far to the corner that you can and then drag it down. So you want it to look something like this. And then drag that out as much as you can. 
also starting to rain right now but the rain is not stopping my day i'm telling you that right now so this is exactly how you want it to look beautiful and now we're gonna blend with a beauty blender i like using setting spray because i feel like it like wets everything so that you can really do what you need to do Perfect. You guys hear the thunder? Or what? It's so crazy that I'm able to like do like a really nice face now because when I tell you 2021, 2020, like I could not do my makeup. I remember literally trying to do my makeup for my birthday and it came out so bad I cried because it was terrible my makeup artist had canceled on me literally the day before during that time of covid i feel like everyone was using covid as an excuse and didn't even have covid it was okay when i did it but like when service people do it it's not okay because i swear that girl did not have covid and i never booked her again i actually blocked her so this is what it looks like next up is actually really crucial i take the maybelline fit me it's matte and poreless pressed powder and you're gonna press this into your skin because you wanna do this before you bake. This mats everything and it helps set everything into place. Perfect. How this is looking right now. And then I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty powder in the shade banana bread i recently got this recently been using it i'm not 100 percent sure about how i feel about it yet um because yeah i also forgot to mention please and i almost forgot to do it please put this powder all over your face wherever you had put concealer i'm not really sure how i feel about the Huda beauty powder yet before i was using something else it was drugstore brand and i swear like it was eating I don't maybe my mind will change about the Huda Beauty, but we will see. One of my goals in life is to be able to travel as much as possible. When I was younger, I wanted to be like a lawyer, and then I found out like corporate law is really boring, so that did not happen. When I was younger, like five, four, I was always saying I wanted to be a doctor. I only wanted to become a lawyer like in high school then changed in back in high school i wanted to be a surgeon then i went to college because i wanted to be a surgeon and then when i was in college it changed just a little bit from being a surgeon to just like a regular doctor because surgery is just like intense and i don't feel like standing for that long that was literally the reason i'm like i don't want to stand for that long so i'm not gonna be a surgeon i'm into like beauty fashion Recently, I've been trying to get into reading. My mom bought me two Michelle Obama books for Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday. I was supposed to be born on Christmas Eve, and unfortunately, I was not. Second favorite holiday is Halloween. I love dressing up for Halloween. I want to dress up for Halloween for the rest of my life. I'm actually really excited one day to have a family so we can, like, all dress up for Halloween. One of my favorite beverages is lemonade. I also love cranberry grape juice. I love Kool-Aid. And mini mini fruit punch in the big jug. Those are like my top three juices. I still drink Capri Suns. I feel like all baddies drink Capri Suns. Like Capri Suns are just so cute. They should literally make adult Capri Suns. I say this all the time. I've been doing YouTube since my freshman year of college, which was 2018. I haven't like blown up on YouTube yet. And I'm always looking for like, you know, this is going to be my year. This is the year I'm going to blow up. But I'm starting to feel like maybe I'm just not meant to blow up on YouTube. I don't know what it is. I just know that in this life, I'm going to be like, not famous, but like rich. I just know I'm going to be rich. I don't know what it's going to be off of, but I know that I'm going to be rich. One day, I hope to have a cooking show with my mom. I think I talked about that on my channel before. I really hope to have a cooking show with my mom because my mom loves to cook, but she doesn't like to cook for other people. She only likes to cook for her family. I want to have a cooking show with my mom like Jeannie Mai and her mom did that's like one of the goals and I, I was just talking about it yesterday with my mom like we're gonna be on Food Network trust and believe I just know that in this life there is going to be very big things in store for me I just know it 
I do TikTok as well. But when I say I do TikTok, I don't want anyone to think like I do TikTok as a job. Like I have a 9 to 5 job that I clock into Monday through Friday. I do TikTok on the side for laughs and giggles. I would love to take it as serious as I do YouTube, but like YouTube is just my girl. I seen someone saying the other day like YouTube is dead. YouTube is never gonna be that girl again because of like TikTok and stuff. And I just want to remind people, YouTube has been around through Facebook, through Instagram, through TikTok, through everything. YouTube will always be that girl. Are you crazy? They were gonna delete TikTok. If they deleted TikTok, it would still be YouTube. TikTok is just a quicker platform and you can make videos in shorter time and it takes less time to edit them. I definitely have friendship PTSD. I like to stay to myself now because of that. And I think that's a very normal reaction. I hate when people say like girls with no friends are weird. No, I have friends, but I've had like a lot of friends. So I feel like girls who don't have any friends typically probably go through things with other girls that just make them hesitant to making friends. There's nothing wrong with that. And I feel like people who feel that way just need to be around a group of people for extra validation. Embrace a lot of Sagittarius energy, a lot of alpha female energy. I don't need that at all. I don't need a flock of people around me. If no one is rocking behind me, I will still be that girl every single day. When I was in high school, I was a cheerleader. And I was also like kind of on the dance team. Like we took our talent show so serious, even though we weren't even winning a prize. Like it wasn't like first place in the talent show or anything like that. We just took the talent show so serious. I usually bake for longer, but today I'm just not feeling like it. I don't know why. My senior year of high school, I swore up and down I was gonna go to HBCU. Well, I applied to like the majority of them, but I ended up going to Penn State. And going to Penn State was definitely one of the best decisions of my life. I'm very grateful for the experience. It was a different experience, I can say that for the most of it. Um, but I do feel like if I went to HBCU, I would definitely have a different reality of a college experience. But my college experience at Penn State was nonetheless like a college experience. When you see those movies about college and stuff, that's definitely Penn State, like to the T. So this is what it's looking like right now. So these like side areas that look a little harsh, we're now gonna take some concealer that I use to contour. I'm not really contour girly. I don't really like like contouring like that, but sometimes I need to do it. This is one of those days where I need to do it. This is just the Juvia's Place concealer in the shade eight. I've never really invested in like contour stuff just because like I said, I don't really contour like that. I'm not really that good at it. Boom. 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 boom might have put like a little bit too much some of my favorite shows are Grey's Anatomy of Sex in the City I love Scandal loved all the Shonda Rhimes shows so watched them all in high school one of my favorite shows currently is Sex in the City I love like old shows that's based in New York and when I say old I mean like late 90s early 2000s I'm gonna take this beauty blender that I've already used and use this side to blend out the contour like I said, I'm not really that good at contour. I'm not an expert when it comes to makeup. I just know how to do my face kind of well. And I think makeup is definitely learning your facial structure and learning what works for you. You may have high cheekbones. I don't really have cheekbones. You may have a wider nose or a more structured nose. You may have low eyes. Like whatever works for you works for you. So just figure that out. And once you figure that out, you just take the tips and tricks that takes blah, 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 why is that a tongue twister you just take the tips and tricks that you learn from other people and just apply it to your makeup i hope to have a house before i'm 30. i know that i'm gonna have a house before i'm 30. people actually bring like their contour like all the way down here maybe we'll try that right now let's see not around it but we will figure it out also bring some on your jawline i've always wished that i've had a more structured jawline 
I talked about this in my last video, I think. I mentioned that I want to get lip filler. But everyone that I always tell is like always opposed to it. I just want like a little bit of lip filler. I'm going to take this um, Real Techniques brush 200 and blend out all of this. I'm just going to drag it. Drag it and like tap. Especially down here. I'm going to take the setting powder, the Huda Beauty once again. And draw a very sharp line. Right here. And then another one. Give me one second. I need more powder. But this side is like perfect. Hopefully this saves it. Now I'm hoping it's to my makeup. Because I'm over here doing stuff that I don't usually do. This is looking good so far. Mm, yeah. So that LA Girl Concealer I was telling you guys about. It's definitely in the car. Because my favorite lip pencil. I also can't find it. And I just know that it's in the car. Like it just has to be. Perfect. See. Fingers crossed. Mm, I think I did something. Put a little bit more blush because we need some, some blush that's appearing now. Since I already did pink, I might do my little orangey blush so that it can add like a little contrast of color since we have pink underneath. So I think I'm going to use the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Joy. You're supposed to smile. Ding! And whatever. Oh, it is. When I say this thing is pigmented, this is enough. Ding! We're going to put this out. Oh, maybe we need a little bit more. But every time I say, oh, we just need a little bit more, it looks like I'm a clown. I oh, hope that was just enough. Perfect. I used to use powder blush, but now I'm kind of a fan of liquid blush. It's just a liquid blush. You need to be very careful because you can easily mess this up. Liquid blush is the same as using concealer, literally, like the same. But I know a trick. If you ever put too much blush, just go back in with your setting powder, the banana bread, and just touch it up, and you'll be good to go. I like to drag my blush because it just helps with bringing it upwards. Perfect. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. Maybe like the smallest little dot ever. Yeah. Perfect. Look. This is the face so far. Now it's just the finished touches. Wow. This blush looks, um, ooh, ooh. Me. We're going to spray this. Like I said, I like it wet. You feel me? I'll be back once this is all dry. Okay, this is the look. Ooh, this look came out good. This is the look so far. I just wish it would have went like a little bit further up in my eye corner right here. Now I went ahead and put on my mascara on my bottom lashes. Put my little fake beauty mark and then i found these two mac lipsticks that i used to use so this is honey glove i was obsessed with honey glove let me swap it let me see how it looks and then this is cherish because i don't have the perfect nude yet this is what they look like i like this one more so this one's Cherish. In the MAC lip liner and Chestnut, I usually use Quark, but that's the one that I can't find right now that I swear is in the car. Um, we're just going to line our lips and then put on lip gloss and yeah, we're going to look cute. Give me one second. Let's just wipe off any makeup. Okay, let's line our lips. Okay, I did a terrible job lining my lips today. Let's just clean up the bottom just a little bit. That's not terrible. I'm gonna take the lipstick. I usually use a concealer for this. However, I've been realizing with the concealer, it like peels and I don't like that. This is cute. Come through MAC. This is the NYX Milk and Honey lip gloss. This is probably my favorite lip gloss. If you don't have this, go get it. All right guys, this is the finished look. Now I just need to go put on my outfit, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.